The Democrats are now saying they think that scheduled Thursday hearing with the first accuser, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, needs to be postponed indefinitely now that a former Kavanaugh classmate at Yale named Deborah Ramirez has come forward to accuse him of exposing himself to her at a party while they were both students at Yale. So the top Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, Dianne Feinstein, wrote a letter to the, to the chairman, Chuck Grassley, where she says, I'm writing to request an immediate postponement of any further proceedings related to the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh. I also ask that the newest allegations of sexual misconduct be referred to the FBI for investigation and that you join our request for the White House to direct the FBI to investigate the allegations of Christine Blasey Ford, as well as these new claims. But the New Yorker, which published this new accuser's account, says that they were not able to verify with any eyewitnesses that Kavanaugh was actually at the party described. Sandra. All right, and Peter, how do Republicans want to handle these latest allegations? Waiting to hear more details about specifics, but the timing of the new allegations is very suspicious to Senator Lindsey Graham, I am told, and the timing of this latest story caught the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, Chuck Grassley, totally off guard. His office tells us the committee's majority staff learned the allegations made by Deborah Ramirez about Judge Kavanaugh from this evening's New Yorker report. Neither she nor her legal representative have contacted the chairman's office. The article reports that Democratic staff were aware of these allegations, but they never informed Republican staff. And the majority leader, Mitch McConnell's office, tells me he didn't know about this until the story was published either.